Rich wanted me to speak to somebody that needs to hear this out there that um, might be battling with drugs, um, alcohol, um, addictions, any any addictions. You can have sex addictions, drug addictions. Um, you can have negative, you know, something that's negative, any addiction. If, if it's not serving God's purpose, if it's not making you a better person, if it's not helping people out, if it's not giving back, then it's not probably serving guys god guys is you know it's probably something that's harmful um younger guys i i've i've lived so i've suffered with drug addictions women addiction sex addictions um alcohol addictions guys and it's never too late it's never too late and if if you honestly guys to me alcohol was the hardest addiction ever i thought you know i've always had a something where God wouldn't would push me away and I just go cold turkey guys. But I have, you know, done hard drugs. I've done hard drugs. I've I've drank. Um I used to drink a bottle a day and I'm talking about the, the bigger bottles. I used to do that by twelve o'clock in the morning. I was already I was already drunk guys. These girls contributed a lot to it. Um, you know, partying with the girls, all they want to do is have sex. Guys, they were keeping me tied in these loops. They were draining me of my energy so bad. I'd wake up literally tired. I'd wake up drained. I'd wake up cranky, mad, upset, frustrated with the world, frustrated with God. And really, guys, it was because I was staying in these loops. These girls know what they're doing. They're they're used to these these loops of doing drugs and, and keeping somebody trapped. And when they're done with him and drain that person of all that they need, whether it be his energy, his money, his time, they'll go do it to somebody else or some of these girls out here, these guys out here are really good. And it, it goes both ways, guys. It's for girls and guys. Um, nowadays, like I tell you, uh, role switched. You got girls out here doing the stuff the knucklehead guys will do. And now the guys are back and forth, guys. You get my drift. Um, but yeah, guys, so, so I was with these girls, you know, partying, you know, getting wasted, doing drugs, having having sex guys and and they were keeping me tied they were keeping my soul tied they were keeping me mentally imprisoned you don't got to be in prison you know to be in prison guys and in, in this this 3D world you can imprison yourself just in your home by by keeping drugs around by keeping women around that don't serve god um speaking of that I'll be making a video very soon on ungodly men and ungodly women things to look out for um but yeah guys they were just keeping me, you know, chained up and, and I, I couldn't escape, guys. Like, I really felt like I needed them in my life because of the drugs and the sex and the alcohol. And it would come so easy, guys, just just come in like nothing. I, I had to read it for my life. So I had to wake up. I had to repent. I had to ask for salvation. I had to ask God for salvation. And God saved me, guys. But, guys, I know a lot of people out there, a lot of people don't pay attention to that really stuff until... They're calling on God and you don't wait, guys, don't wait till you have to call on God till you need the help. Help yourself now so you avoid, you know, you avoid these ties. You don't have to go through cycles of years being trapped because, guys, you put yourself in a cycle. You get in spiritual contracts. You're, you sleep with these people. You, you get tied in. Your souls connect. And and if they're on the demonic side and they're not serving God, they're gonna keep you in a loop. They're gonna they're gonna get you caught up. They're gonna get you trapped. You're gonna get caught up for yourself. So you gotta watch what you're doing. You gotta watch who you're sleeping with. You can't just be sleeping with everybody. You can't just be out doing drugs, out partying with everybody, guys. You'll get connected with somebody. You get so tight, they'll drain you of everything you got. Money, time. You're if you're going to school, they could take you out of school. You know, make your mind turn to something else you start focusing on something else that doesn't even serve god guys doesn't even serve your purpose doesn't even serve your mission so so watch for that guys you know um when i was with these women and i was getting all you know messed up i was getting drugged out guys i was i was losing mad weight i was i was getting more on the darker side i i wouldn't pray i wouldn't ask god for nothing i had already gave up on god at that time i felt and really, I needed God, guys. I, I just needed to get more connected with him, and I couldn't because these girls wouldn't allow me to. Every time I would try to speak about God or speak about something that was positive, they would try to bring me back down, get me angry, give me more sex, give me more drugs, and it just kept me in a loop. 
guys, you need to remove these people from your life. If you have somebody like that around you, remove them because they're just keeping you down. They're just tying you down. And if they know you're successful or you, you got something going for yourself or schooling, good job, you know, you're, you're, you're a good person. You do what you got to do, and they, they'll they'll go for that, guys. And once you're done with once they're done with that, once you ain't got it no more, once you're drained out, once guys they burn on you, it's it's not a cycle. You don't gotta live it to experience it to see if I'm lying. Just go by go by what I'm saying, guys. It's I had it rough on that. You know, it took me some time too. It wasn't just one relationship, two relationships, guys. It was three relationships, four, five, six relationships, seven relationships. Guys, these girls come, they throw money at you. These guys throw money at you. They're just reading you in. They're reading you in. Once once you're in, once they got you, guys, they can manipulate the situation, manipulate your mind, and they can, do malicious ways, get you trapped, guys. Um, and guys, it's it's everywhere, all over the world. It's not just, not just here in my hood. Guys, I've traveled 38 states, trust me. If I could have met some of the people out there, some of these girls out there and, and got in relationships, guys, I could have seen the same cycle. So it's whatever state you're in, whatever city you're in, whatever country you're in, it's everywhere, guys. But you got to know what to look out for. You got to know where to keep yourself safe. And if you think these people love you, they don't love you, guys. You're showing them time. You're showing them affection, showing them, you know, maybe somebody showing people money, maybe showing them you're the one that has a drug, who, whatever, whatever the case is, guys, you just keeping that loop, keeping that loop. You can end up dead. You can end up in jail. You can end up with your kids taken away. You can end up a lot of other scenarios, guys. A lot of scenarios. Why put yourself in that scenario if you don't got to? So by, by telling the person that needs to hear this, if you, if you do need some uh, drug counseling, there's numbers out there. I'll list a couple numbers out here for some, for some drug counselors, but, um, Guys, if you stay in the loop, you're you're going to end up pretty much driving yourself insane. If these girls don't drive you insane, if the drugs don't drive you insane, if the situation that you put yourself don't drive you insane, the devil's not kind of trying to come for you through those ways, guys, you might just lose your mind for real because, guys, at some of those points in my life, I thought I was almost losing my mind. And that's the thing with these drugs, with the alcohol, it starts to rewire your brain into dependency and and thinking that you need these girls and these drugs and really guys that's not the not the thing you don't you know it's not the case guys it just it gets easier it gets easier and and before you know it we're so caught up on the drugs caught up on the girls caught up on the alcohol caught up on the porn whatever the case is guys that you're just you're stuck there and you feel you're stuck and you feel oh god's not gonna god's not gonna answer me look at all the wrong i'm doing guys i used, I used to shoot at people God's still helping me, guys. He still helped me get out of my situations. He still helped me out of all the bad I've done in my past. Families I've destroyed, things I've done. Done to myself, done to my kids, the, by by me being on drugs, them having to see that. Guys, that's those ugly things. You don't want to have to live like that. You don't want to have to have your people, your family, your loved ones look at you in a wrong light because they think whatever they think about you. You can always change, guys. And um, stuff out there, the hard drugs, crystal methamphetamine, stuff like that, guys. That stuff will trick your brain. It'll it'll send so much dopamine to your brain that you, you end up stuck on it, guys. It'll also make you get a little loopy. You probably lose your mind. A lot of those people, you start to see they lose their mind. Some places, drugs are even stronger. You go to Los Angeles, guys. Some of that stuff, you don't even know what it is. I tell you, you think what it is, but before you know it, you're butt naked running down the street. Guys, you don't even know what it is. So you gotta you gotta be careful out there, guys. You could lose your mind. You could fry your brain. Now that's another thing about if you have if you are on drugs, if you're going through that, you know, and you're wondering, will I make it back to my original self? Will I get back to myself? Yes, the answer is yes, guys. As the period you did the damage with the drugs to get you loopy, to get you wacko, to make you feel like you lost your mind, same amount of time is gonna take you to come back. So if you've been doing drugs for a year, it's going to take you about a year to rewire your brain. you got to rewire your brain. Your brain got to get healthy again. Your, your body got to get healthy again. So as your body's filtering out these drugs, even though you think, oh, you know, it's gone in a week, two days. No, guys, it's, it, the, the, it lingers. It lingers. The, the effects linger. So as, as time passes, you will rewire your brain. Don't ever feel like you're lost. Like, that's it. Oh, this is it, guys. I'm not going to make it no more. I already done lost my mind, fried my brain. 
guys, everything's reversible, guys. You could you could reverse this. Just can't use the alcohol anymore. You can't use the drugs no more. You can't use these things anymore. Um, if it's something that's sexual with like these girls, guys, and you have an addiction because you're addicted to these girls, try to surround yourself with with positive people. Um, try to keep temptation out of your life. And and guys, everything reverses. Whichever, whatever the addiction that you suffer from, you're you're suffering from. It's reversible. You just gotta understand it's gonna be a process. It's not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna. You know what I mean? Some people are stronger than others. Hey, you might go cold turkey and just erase everything and not need anything. But for some others, it might be a little harder, guys. And if anybody needs to talk, anybody has anything to say, hey, drop a comment. Um, if you need to hit me up in my inbox, my number is posted. Sometimes I post them on the videos, guys. If you if you need me, I'm here for you. Need some advice, guys? Personal advice? Something you need me to tell me? I I could help you with. Let me know, guys. I'm always here to help. I'm always here to answer some of these questions, and I give you the most knowledge that I can that that I've learned and studied and and up above gives me because you know I get a lot of my messages from spirits, guys. So I just wanted to share this with you all, guys. Somebody out there, if you think that. Drugs have you under control. Alcohol has you under control. Sex has you under control, guys. It's all reversible. You can fix it. You just got to ask God for help. You go to God. Tell him, tell him what happened. Tell him what's going on, guys. Um, and as I'm speaking this right now, guys, God's giving me something else, guys. Um, if you suffer from uh, abuse, any kind of abuse, guys, mental abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, um, if you were raised up, brought up, and, and you had problems, maybe you're abused, any kind, any, any kind of abuse, guys, any kind of abuse. I'll, I'll put some abuse numbers on here, too. Um, but, guys, the Spirit's saying that um, it's time to let it go, guys. And as, as you let these things go, don't, don't dwell on them. Don't keep them, you know, five years, ten years. Hold them all your life. Right now, you're still holding on to them. Guys, as soon as you make peace with that, you let it go, you... you you ask God to help you with that. You you forgive your past. You forgive those who hurt you. You forgive yourself. Things will go better for you guys, but you got to learn how to put that behind you. Because if you're holding on to it, and um, I mean, you can always use it for a testimony or, or as, you know, something like that. But if you're holding on to it and you're using it against people and you're using it, you know, to hold on to it for yourself or whatever it is, you know, guys, you're punishing yourself. God would like for you to release those emotions because you can't be living by emotion. If you're living by emotion, that means you're hanging on to those emotions of, of the abuse. I know it hurt. I know we all go through things, guys. You're not the only one. It, it hurts, guys. But when you let it go, you save yourself. You save your soul. It doesn't hold on to these things that torment you and keep you mentally in anguish and, and you know, arguments spring up and you, you, know, you bring it up or this or that. Guys, be make peace with it. Make peace with it. And as soon as you do, you ask God. God will, God will help you, guys. He'll help you eliminate that from your mind. He'll, he'll give you a better tomorrow. He'll start putting positive things. And you'll eventually forget about it, guys. But if you hang on to it day to day, you're always worrying about it. You're always talking about it. You're always you're, you're prolonging it, guys. You just need to make peace with it and, and let it go. Let it go, guys. God will help you with it. God will help. But you got to ask God. Remember, he's not going to come to you. you got to go to him. So crazy guys. I was already gonna end the last the, the video a few minutes ago, but God had me throw that in there, guys. And if you going through abuse, guys, just ask God to help you remove that from your life and from your thoughts. And um watch how everything changes, guys. The more you hang on to it, you're hurting yourself. You're prolonging the process. So peace and love, guys.